Hi everyone, it's Melissa Davis from By Mimi With Love. And guys, I'm happy to be coming to you on this Sunday evening and doing a video. It has been a minute. I am struggling right now with my health. So I'm happy to feel like doing a video this afternoon and sharing with you guys what I have done for the past few weeks of Artisan Journal Prompt 2024. And that is a collab hosted by our dear friend Patty of Life with Patty, who is the most amazing host ever. Um, thank you so much, Patty. And I am happy to be catching up. Um, I don't know what week number it is, but I know the last one I was supposed to do was the moon and the stars. Well, guys, I had to do it. I had to, uh, I had to start with a new book. Um, my book, the other book is just too fat to do anything else with unless I get triple the size rings. So I went ahead and I did the, the cover. This is the front cover and I'll be doing the back cover. Um, these I grabbed off of or um, Michelle um, oh my goodness I will put her channel name in the description box below guys make sure you go check her out um, Michelle is making jewelry I mean she's just amazing and she sent me this um, this little watercolor book and I wanted to share with you guys here are some of the the ones I have colored and I just think they turned out beautiful now I went ahead and you can see this one's laminated because I made a bookmark out of it and they just look so cute um, here is this one which just turned out stunning uh, I may keep this one and make a bookmark for myself but in this little book you get these this is the watercolor. Well, after you use the watercolor, um, the paper is perforated, so the little bookmark comes comes apart. And here are three I haven't even had to touch. Okay. And what I did was I used these ones that I had used and created this cover with it and I just love the way that looks I, I love using every part of something and I just think that turned out fantastic now I will be putting something on these but that's just where I've gotten on the cover so far anywho like I said my first um, week that I need to catch up on is moon and stars and here is what I did for moon and stars and <clears throat> these were done uh, with this watercolor set which I got from Timu after Linda of Linda's Creative Life turned me on to them and they are amazing guys look at those colors oh love them love them and I was able to create this background with those. And I just love the way that looks. How my big moon looks. And how my... But they are beautiful watercolors. Um, then on this side, this is the uh, Moonbeam set of paper that Annie of Annie Creates sent me. Thank you so much, Sissy. And I love this. It's just beautiful paper. You can see I've got sparkles. I used a little spray for a moonbeam. Um, little stars and sparkles everywhere. You can see the moon. Um, it's just beautiful, beautiful paper. And then when you open this, and it just comes up like that. You can see I've got more of that beautiful paper um, 
here's um, Moon Lake and Lunar Forest. And then here I have created this scene. And this scene was inspired by Linda of Linda's Creative Life. Guys, as we all know, she lost her mother back in uh, December of last year. And then she had to move to apartments. And it's just been a real struggle. She's moved now. She is doing so well. I'm so happy for her. I'm so proud of her. Linda is a dear, dear friend. And she inspired this moon scene here. Because as you can see, they're walking across the bridge. And they're coming out to a beautiful, beautiful moon. And, um... Just a beautiful sky and moon. And I did this all with my, with the uh, Galaxy watercolor. And look how well that turned out. I just love it. Um, let me turn it. Isn't that neat, guys? So, that is my moon and stars, and this one is dedicated to my sweet friend, Linda, of Linda's Creative Life. Uh, this is just a blank page. Now, um, I think next, um, I was supposed to do red, I believe. Now, the thing about my red is this is the actual back cover, the inside of the back cover. But here is my red. And I just think it turned out so pretty. Let me bring the butterfly wings up. Red. Excitement, energy, passion, love, desire, uh, speed, strength, power, heat, intense, and danger. And I did these I did this watercolor, and I just love the way that, let me hold it up so y'all can see. Then I spritzed it. Um, this is the ink, and this is napkin. Uh, the same napkin that, what, that I used here, which was also gifted to me by Linda's Creative Life, as well as what I created my watercolor with which I love. Um, a couple weeks ago, I received this Maylane watercolor set. Linda ordered it for me from Amazon. And guys, I am in love with it. Look at this. I've already been using the heck out of it. But look at these beautiful colors. And when I've never had a watercolor set with all this variety of reds. So you've got any coral or purple or that you want. But the whole set is just look at those blues, the greens. Just a beautiful set. I love it. It came with its own little brush. And then the watercolors are in individual pans. So you can take them out and use them if you want. But I am in love with this watercolor set. It's stunning. The colors are... Uh, uh, it's so brilliant. The colors are really brilliant. So I wanted to share that with you guys and tell Linda thank you so much for my mailing watercolor set so there is my red guys I like it let me know what you guys think I think this turned out really really neat okay then the next one was the picnic right so here is my okay guys <laughs> I'm 
63 years old. So my idea of a picnic these days is what you see right here. I drew this seat. <laughs> I've got two fans. Got my beatbox going. They're all plugged into a tree. Got my watermelon. My flip-flops. I'm leaning back taking it easy. And a froggy step by to say hello. Stop by. Uh, this says go outside. Just go outside. But this is my ideal of a picnic. I love how this turned out. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. And I drew um, the scene, so I'll hold it up just a little bit. Just simple little drawing to indicate a picnic. I put it on this strawberry cardstock. And then I plugged the whole three wires into the tree. So let me know what you think of this ridiculous picnic scene. I fell in love with it. And now the last, uh, which was for this week, it was due this past week. So my next prompt that I do will be the red, white, and blue. This catches me up. And, oh, my, let my camera focus. And it is the vintage. And I chose to do a paper doll. Hold on, guys. I've got to have a drink. I chose to do a paper doll for my vintage prop. And I'm, let me move these out of the way. And I'll go ahead and show you. Here is my vintage prompt. And I decided to do a paper doll. And here's her closet. And here's her little purple room. And I just think it turned out so cute. This is Little Flossie. Um, three years old in the 90s. Well, my daughter was three years old in the 90s. So I just love this. And I used purple um, paper gifted to me by Linda of Linda's Creative Life. And here is my doll. And she is Velcroed onto the page so that I can take her off and play with her. And then you open her little closet. And ta-da, she's got some night clothes. She's got clothes in here. So here, her, here is her little um, night dress. Uh oh, and this. there we go. So I'll show you this little outfit. And then she wears her little cap with that, of course. And there she is, all dressed and ready for bed. How cute is that, guys? Oh, my goodness, right? Then her next outfit is her little green winter coat. Excuse me. <laughs> and as you can see, she's got her purse with her. And she also has a little hat to match her. Adorable. green coat. How cute is that, guys? Okay. <coughs> and then this is her little day dress that she wears at home. How 
sweet is that? I just love it. And see, she can live right there with her little dress on. And then her last outfit. No, she's got two more. She's got her party dress. My little tabs are getting stuck in there. And then look at this one. This is her school outfit. When she goes to preschool. How sweet is that? I love the vintage clothes, the little vintage doll. It's just so sweet and fun to play with. <laughs> and then here is her last outfit. And it's, she's getting all dressed up for a birthday party with this dress. How cute is that? She's all dressed up for a party. And, oops. I forgot to put her little uh, nightcap on. No, there's the nightcap. This is the little sun hat. Which matches the dress she's wearing now. And then you just put her back on there. And she's ready to play with. And then her little clothes go right back into her closet and her drawer. And I just think that turned out so cute. What do you guys think? Isn't that sweet? But that was my, what I decided to do for my vintage. I've got a little uh, tag in here where I can write on. And here's her little precious kitty hiding in the drawer in the closet. And that is my take on vintage. Close the closet. And there it is. Guys, let me know what you think. I'm sorry this video got so long. But, hey, several weeks. Give me a break. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully, I'll be doing more videos this week. From Virginia, we'll be talking to you. Bye-bye, everyone.